Greetings everyone, welcome to this new video. In my last video I talked about eight different ways of making currency or get prepared for the league and how to make it up to the end of Act 10. So today I want to go into the specifics of how I'm doing after this point. So maps, everything that comes up to the grinding part of the end game basically. So there's some steps that I really much appreciate if you take a look at and also give me comments uh, how are you doing these kind of things but these are the things that I've picked up over the years or oh, again I have done 2000 hours of this game and I looked at other people playing it and I've come up with my own ways of doing things and the more of these things you do the better off you would you would be in my opinion. So take a look at them and tell me what you think. So first of all the Atlas. You want to make use of the Atlas and the maximum capacity it has. What I mean by this is that while you're doing the normal zones which is uh, all the zones here you're gonna do from blood aqueducts which you probably are gonna grind out if you looked at my last video and you're gonna drop tier 1 maps in those which means that you're gonna have a bunch of tier 1 maps here when you hit end of act 10 and you're gonna start mapping so you're gonna work this in your favor because every time you do a tier 1 map here you're gonna increase your uh, bonus objectives so it's gonna go up by one and for everything there one percent each bonus of every complete increase map drops by one percent and that means you have a higher chance for each bonus objective you complete as a total of 159 maps so 159 percent here so you want to maximize that in the fashion of just doing the maps that drops so even if you have 10 of these channel maps as soon as one army map drops you want to do that one and the next one and the next one and you want to check out Sana also over here if she's selling some of the good ones so make sure you actually just progress as far as you can so as soon as you get one that you have not completed put it in into the map device and run it so that is my first tip because it increases your probability of actually not needing to trade for other maps. Next tip is do not run a white map. Which what I mean by that, obviously these are going to be white, these are going to be yellow and red. But don't run them completely white, which is blank, like this one. I would never run this map like it is even at the start just put in some currency into it just put in one of these and then one augmentation because you're gonna have tons of these that means right now this map is 26 percent more quantity on it it has 10 percent more pack size all of these is gonna add up to more map drops for you because maps are affected by your map mods and your bonus so make sure you make the most out of your time because otherwise you're gonna just simply run out of maps that you can do for the higher tiers you're not gonna get the higher tiers from drops which means that you're gonna need to go to the trade sites and trade for them and trust me when it comes to this trading for maps is hell because you need to trade like send a message to 20 people to just get one map uh, it's not fun so make sure you put in some currency and I'm usually setting the ceiling at as soon as I hit um, about tier 4 or something I would start alking everything that using uh, Orb of Alchemy even though it might not be worth it uh, at the, later in the league but in the beginning definitely alk everything because you can just buy more buy more of these and you're gonna make more Plenty of people have made tests on this and they have always made their currency back. So you will always gain. You can even start from tier 1 if you want with alchemy orbs. I might try that this league actually as an experiment. So always invest in your maps at the start. Even a little bit will make a change. 
and always go for the maximum uh, bonus objective. So for the next step, it's selling your map. So let's say you're sitting on Armory here. Where is Armory? Uh, it's over there. It's connected to two different maps here. Sadly, one of them is shaped here, but doesn't matter. Both these are tier three normally. So it's graveyard and it's excavation. Let's say we already have graveyard in a reptile. We maybe don't want that one. So we would sell free. This is one of those recipes we would get excavation. But let's say we didn't want that one. We Then we trade, take out one and put in another one. And voila, we got graveyard instead. It's like there's no difference between these maps, but some maps are just tied to a specific. Three of them will always give the same result. But if you change one of them, it might give you a difference. So I can get either graveyard or excavation from this. So make sure that you actually use this in your favor when you do this. So don't just give up and say, oh, this free didn't give me what I wanted. So I, I just have to trade for it instead. No, this will actually work. Next tip is about currency sitting in your t stash tab while you're not sitting in front of your computer. Because especially in the first well, weeks, four weeks in the league, currency is going to fluctuate all the time in the value. So what I do is I invest all my chaos orb I have after in a play session, like a uh, play, se play session, uh, into Exalted, because Exalted will always go up in value for every day that goes. That this has never happened. I've never seen it go down in value. What I mean by this is if you're playing one day and it's 50 chaos for one exalted, while when you wake up the next day, it's going to be 60 or 70 chaos for that same exalted. So if you have converted all of these into exalted before going to bed, voila, you just made hundreds of chaos while you were sleeping for no effort at all and there's always going to be people selling off their exalted in the beginning because they're quite useless and the further they get in into the league this is why they get more valuable the further you get into the league the more useful they're going to be for the meta crafting or whatever crafting you're going to do so always transfer you can also do this with items if you want to use your chaos or exalted orb and investing in items but that is a harder market to uh, kick in and you need more experience for that. There's videos on YouTube for that, I bet. Just do a YouTube search and there's probably someone telling you exactly how to invest in those kind of parts. But I always do this before going to bed or going on a trip or something like that. Next step is going to be setting up live searches. So I always have my live searches here, maybe five, ten of them going at the same time and it's going to tell me in game that it's going to pop up here with a little signal and a little bit of a um, information window is going to pop up and it's going to tell me one of my items that i need for my build is actually put just got put up into trade this is a great way of spending the smallest amount so if i know i have only 10 chaos then i put in 10 chaos here in the window and then I put in all the different values that I want, what kind of um, base type I want, and then I push this magical button, activate live search. So now when someone is putting up an item, it's gonna pop up here. And I do not need to wait, or I do not need to search it for myself, because if I search for myself, for items that have been up for a long time, they're going to be more expensive because people always buy the best and the cheapest item out there. Here, this way, you can always be the first one on the market. You can scan it and say, okay, this is not what I'm looking for. I will wait for a little bit longer. Also, why I'm doing this is because I do not want to slow down at any point in this league. So when I'm doing tier one, tier two, I'm already buying items knowing that I will be able to beat uh, the Guardian bosses with these kind of items. I just need a few of them. So I always 
invest for the future. So when I'm hitting those higher tier maps, I can still do them. While another player who decides, okay, I cannot do this anymore, I need to start trading items. Well, then it's going to take hours to trade for items you really need, or you might need to do more currency farming to actually get those items. So unless you want to slow down and smell the roses during the way, you just want to have these already set up. You can do this before the league starts, honestly, and just have them ready to push that button when it comes to it. So for the next tip I have is if you have seen my 100 map series, where I do 100 of these maps and record it and I can record the salt and everything. My biggest tip from those is that you want to roll all the maps together. So what I normally do when it's 100, I put it into one of these stash tabs and I click them in here because I can search on specific mods. Um, I can use these keywords and search for the mods that I cannot do. But now my current build can do all mods which is very good so what I would do is just alk all of them uh, I would chisel them up and I would alk them and then I will maybe valorb them and then just run all of them at once so if there is five of those ten of those or fifty of those it does not matter and I would have a designated dump tab the dump tab I just throw in all the gear that drops that I want to keep so all the things that I might think has a value I put into my dump tab while I'm doing this so I always put in a new one then I run to my stash tab and then I make sure that I put in all the items so I have free space so I do all my maps in one go without using any trading or anything this is just to maximize my time in here because when I'm done with these let's say 50 maps then I'm gonna have a bunch of items here and I'm gonna have a greater overview on which items I can price for fairly the same time so if I do this instead of every map then it's gonna take a long time in between each map but by doing them all together I can just all the currency will already be in stacks uh, all the items will be easily priced then and I can see what items I really do not want to keep next to because I've already so many of them and so on and so on so please make sure to do a map session of whatever you choose if it's uh, early in the league you might do a map session of fewer maps it does not need to be the same map just do all the maps so if I have 10 maps here that I have no completion bonus on in the atlas bonus then i do them all at once and push that into dump tab when i've done all of those i go through all the maps all the things all the gear and all the currency and get a value to it and then push them into my other selling tabs for the next tip it is investing in your maps the higher up you come in tiers here you want to invest more into your maps because the value of the map is going to be more so one of these channel maps is going to cost you one chance or maybe to buy right now and while the pit of chimera is maybe 10 chaos obviously in the beginning of the league these are going to be close to one exalted to get one of these maps so you want to invest appropriately to the map you're running so normally what I'm doing is I like I said I normally go with Alks already here at the start and then I invest higher and higher when I hit red maps of course I need to val them to get the completion bonus and I always chisel my red maps always chisel them up to 20% make sure you do that on a white base which means it's nothing here so it's a uh, clean let's see here uh, so it's clean like this because otherwise it will give uh, you would need a lot of chisels so I would always chisel them I would always alk them and if I can do all map mods I always val them also to make sure dependent also let's say underground sea here is a very popular elder map to do so if you have the elder orb and you make this one into a t16 or one of the shaped ones uh, that you find good also you can do this technique is because it makes sense to put in some currency into sections then it might not make sense if you have the tower map for example and making uh, sextants i tried that out myself 
I only did it because it has a valuable uh, divination card. But what I'm talking about is here is that a red sextant, which you're going to need for the red maps, is costing way more than a white and a yellow one. So you might want to invest in appropriately to the perceived income that you're going to have in the end. That leads me into my next tip here. Take the experience that I'm giving you and other streamers, YouTubers, other players in general. They will send out on Reddit, they will send on YouTube, they will send on streaming information that you need to absorb when it comes to these kind of things. Because in the new league, this whole atlas is going to be wiped. Everyone starting from the same values with zero completion and also they're going to scramble the maps which means that this dark forest map for example might be a tier one next one. We don't know. Probably will not but we don't know. So there's going to be a new meta on how to set up your atlas. So they as soon as uh, one day before the league starts or anything, there's going to be a bombardment of different theories of how certain players is going to ha have their atlas set up. You might want to take a look at those and t ask yourself, which one do I want to follow? I feel like I'm experienced enough these days that I can set up my own atlas and I like to do all kinds of maps. So I always tend to do the full completion. I I don't like to not have everything completely. I'm like a perfectionist like that. I I need my OCDs to not kick in, which means that I need this full. And they might have good techniques of just where to invest and how much to invest for maximum profits. And I will probably come up with more 100 map guides. And I always do these 100 map guides on things that I want to try out I think will give a good profit so that is my last tip for you guys hopefully you are taking something out of this and you will implement a few of these things it's all about efficiency you want to make efficient choices and you want to use your currency in the right manner if that is just investing it in things for later selling or if it that is just speeding through everything and get to that end game as fast as possible that is your choice but hopefully I've gave you some ideas what to follow and also uh, if you have any other ideas something you think I missed obviously there's hundreds of tips here I just took a few of them uh, but I find these the most important ones that are not super obvious so thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and have a good day